I am mute. Okay. Yes. All right. Here we go. Okay. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Lisa. I'm an English teacher here on Verbling.com. Welcome to this hour of class. We're going to have a listening class. We're going to listen to maybe one or two songs. It depends on how long it takes us to get through the first song. Um, these songs are pretty popular right now here in the United States and maybe worldwide. So maybe you are familiar with the songs that I chose for today. Um, I'm going to, did I put up the, I think I put up the wrong document <laughs> for you guys in this class. That's for the next class. Um, I am going to put up another document, but the first uh, song that we're going to be listening to is uh, sung by Bruno Mars. So this is the video there. Hopefully our YouTube app uh, stuff will work today so that everybody can watch the video and listen to the song, hear the lyrics at the same time. And then we're going to what we call break down. So we're going to break down the lyrics, which means we're going to go through the lyrics and talk about what he means, what they're talking about, uh, you know, why are they using these words, these kind of things. So um, welcome to class. Hi, Hamid. Hi. How are you? I am fine. What about you? I'm pretty good. So you're having good news. Everything's continuing to uh, go the right way. Yes. For your and, trip to uh, Germany. There is only one obstacle and a very important obstacle. If I overcome uh, that obstacle, everything will uh, be uh, wonderful. Okay. So pretty soon you'll be in Germany on your working yes. on your PhD. Cool. Yes. <clears throat> All right. And uh, let me say hi to Maria. How are you, Maria? Hi. Thanks. <laughs> How are you doing? Very well. All right. Any uh, plans for this weekend? Uh, yes. Today I I will go to the to the cinema probably, and I don't know which film I'm going to to see. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow I met some friends, and on on one, on Sunday I don't know <laughs> what mm -hmm. to do. Nice. Uh, what's the weather like there right now? You're in Madrid, right? Uh, today, uh, well, we are uh, having a, a cold uh, wave. Mm -hmm. it's, cold wave? Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, very, very cold here in Spain. Mm. Yeah, it's because snowing a lot and it's too cold. <laughs> yeah, in the town where I lived when I was a foreign exchange student um, in the north, Vitoria, I saw mm -hmm. some, some pictures from my friend, uh, on Facebook, it's all you know, lots of snow. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. We uh, we were having a, a very good winter because mm -hmm. uh, the the weather was very very good. But uh, from two weeks uh, to now, uh, it has started to be very very cold. Mm, yeah. Yeah, we've been having a very warm winter here, but this weekend we are also getting a a storm, so we'll see if it, yes. how cold it gets. Yeah, interesting. But okay. there, do, do you have a, a cold weather there? Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm in Washington State, mm -hmm. uh, so on the west coast. I'm about two hours from Seattle, so it's, it's cold, but it's not freezing right now. Um, I don't know, in Celsius, it's probably, let me look and see, um, in Celsius right now. It's raining a little bit, but we won't get any snow where I live. Uh -huh. Hopefully they'll get snow in the mountains, but even in the mountains there hasn't been a lot of snow this year. So the skiing, I like to go skiing, the skiing hasn't been very good. So it's uh, it's 13 degrees where I live, so it's not too cold. Okay, that's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay guys, hi everybody, welcome, Mateo. Hello, hello, Lisa. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, yeah, for me it is morning. It's only 8 a.m. Yeah, yeah. For me. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's uh, uh, almost uh, evening. <laughs> for you, yeah, for sure. Okay, uh, Susanna. Hi, Susanna. Hi. Hi, teacher. How are you? Um, <laughs> I'm sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? Where are you calling from? 
Uh, I'm Mexican. In, in Mexico, yeah, okay, so you're early in the morning too. Not really yeah. early, but... <laughs> early. 10 a.m. 10, okay, yeah. Okay, cool. And Anatoly, welcome. Hi, Anatoly. Hello. Thank Hi. you. Okay, guys, so for this listening class, it's for uh, music, for songs. And so I chose two songs which are uh, hit songs. They've, they're have they getting played on the radio here, at least, a lot. So if you're driving in your car or something, you're definitely going to hear these songs uh, over and over throughout the day. Um, I don't know if they're popular where, where you guys are, if you're familiar with them. Uh, two pretty popular uh, singers, though. The first one is um, actually a song written by Mark Ronson, who is British, but the person uh, singing it is actually Bruno Mars. So he's an American uh, guy who sings uh, funky songs, hip hop, you know, music, and lots of different collaborations with other uh, people. So he's the singer and the main person in the video with uh, the group called the Hooligans. And so it's the song that we're going to listen to is called Uptown Funk. And let me just give you a little bit of a background first because it is going to be difficult to hear. So don't worry about it at first because we're going to just listen to it once to kind of get the idea. And then we're going to go through the lyrics, what they mean, what is he talking about, and that will help you understand. And once you understand, then it's easier to hear the words. So then maybe in the future, if you hear this song on the radio or something, you'll be able to sing along. Okay, so <clears throat> the first thing is uptown. So usually um, we talk about uptown and downtown. So even my uh, town has these two places. And so the downtown area of a city is usually like where a lot of stuff happens. There's restaurants, there's businesses, uh, things depending on the city, that area can be um, where a lot of things happen. But the uptown area is also a place where things happen, and sometimes it's considered a little bit more uh, cool. Like we're going uptown; it means like a s more stylish, more styling. Okay, so there's the downtown is is where everything happens, and there's working class people and restaurants and businesses and stuff, but the uptown is a little bit more maybe upscale, we say, so wealthier, nicer, uh, better, so it's just a, an idea. And so the uptown funk, do you guys know what funk is, that word, anybody? <clears throat> no? No. Funk. Okay, good. <laughs> well, uh, it depends on how used you are to uh, American music, especially like uh, rhythm and blues and Funk is a type of music, funk music, and it's uh, usually sung by African American people, and it's uh, it's the kind of music that we call we say is funky, which means it has a good beat. The bass, the instrument, the bass is really um, prevalent. It means you can hear the bass a lot, and, it, and it's really good music to dance to. So funk music is the type of music that a lot of people really like to dance to. It, it was a lot um, more popular even, uh, like maybe in the, in the 70s, 60s, 70s funk music. There were some groups that were very popular. And, if, you know, you might know that Bruno Mars is kind of like a younger James Brown. So James Brown kind of music was funky music. Uh, it's really music that makes you want to get up and dance. Okay, so funk and get on your funk means to get moving, to get shaking, to, to, to dance. So it's a, a dance style. So this song is a dance song. So it gets, it gets played like um, at clubs where people want to get up and dance. Okay? And the song itself uh, is talking a lot about him. So he's kind of bragging. You guys know the word brag, to brag about yourself? Anybody know what that means to, if you're bragging? Amit, do you know that? I think I thought you used that before. Um, nobody knows to brag. To brag is when, or another word is to boast. To boast about yourself. To say like things that you're good. Like I'm good. I'm hot. I'm awesome. You know that's bragging. Bra <laughs> brag. Brag. Yeah. It's uh, it's um, like um, 
when uh, say uh, usually a girl, uh, uh, you are a gypsy gypsy girl. Um, Someone? No, no. No, it's different. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay. we we can you can like a person can brag about themselves. So like for example, we just had the Super Bowl, right? And so the winning team was the Patriots. So if you're a Patriot player and you're going around going, yeah, we won the Super Bowl, we're ah, awesome, okay. you know, like and you're and bragging played. about yourself. Wow, okay, okay, okay. You're and I said a lot of things, uh, f good things for my, uh -huh. for my team, okay, pr pr okay. Yeah, you're talking about yourself in a way that, uh, you're it's also called showing off, you know, you're showing off, you're telling everybody like, yeah, we we won. You know, we're awesome, and so you're telling everybody how good you are. So a lot of times, in especially like in rap music, but also in some like funk music, the singer will talk about how good they are. You know, it's a form of bragging. It's something that uh, men, young men especially, do. Uh, they have big egos, maybe, <laughs> and so they like to show off and talk about how cool they are. Okay, so that's kind of what's happening in this song. So when we listen to it the first time, I just want you to, to see if you can understand any words. So you might understand like funk, you might understand, that's in there a lot, Uptown Funk is like the chorus, so you'll hear that a lot. Um, but just try to pick out some other words and then when I check in with you, you can tell me I heard this word or this word or, you know, you're going to watch the video too, so that kind of helps a little bit, but uh, not necessarily. They're just dancing a lot. But um, So we're going to have to turn on our YouTube apps in order to be able to do this. So click on your YouTube app icon, which is over in the left. And when you do that, you should be able to see this screen that has the YouTube video and hopefully everybody will be able to also hear it and see it. So let's do a little test just to make sure. When I play it, it'll mute me, but then I'll stop it just in a second. <clears throat> okay. Is anybody hearing it or seeing it? <clears throat> no. Nope. <laughs> it's not the most perfect uh, system yet. All right, let me try to add it again, see if it works. Uh, I th yeah? think okay. we need to, to find other... Uh, other what? In, in YouTube, we can find uh, uh, lots of variants of one clip. And, yes. Uh, Do you mean that sometimes some? Uh, yes, uh, one cl uh, one clip doesn't work. The second uh, could be work. I okay. I know I I. Uh, you had that experience before. Yes, I had that experience before. <clears throat> okay. Only the third one uh, uh, worked. Oh, <laughs> really? <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> All right. Let me see if I can um, do this one. Hold on. All right, let's see if this one will work. Hmm. <clears throat> we need to remove uh, the uh, the what the wrong one. The wrong one. Okay. All right, let's try this one. <clears throat> Have you got Has anybody heard this song before? Do you know this song that I'm talking about? Yes, but 
And yeah. Lisa, if you want, uh, I can try to share. Yeah, I you mean, can. I can try to put a link instead of yours. You. You are muted. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, just a second. Okay. Is it working? I see just black. <laughs> I, yes. <laughs> we are having the technical difficulties here. All right. So here we go. I'm going to... Everybody just sees black. Oh, Hamid and Anatoly tried it too. I, I, I added uh, several options. <laughs> okay. Let's see if any of them work. <laughs> I think now it is, uh, the problem is global, not local. Yeah. Okay, no, let's... No, it works. It's, oh, here we go. Works. Go, go, go ahead. <laughs> hey, yay, hey, we found wow. it. No. Okay, uh, let's see if it, uh, Anatoly, you want to play for everybody? Uh, um, but uh, one second. <laughs> Let me see if it works. Oh no! Not working. Uh, I don't know why. Yeah, it would showed up. Here we go. That one. Okay. Okay. The game. We're gonna have uh, the way we're gonna have to do this. I think then is just everybody is gonna. You are muted, Eliza. How about we just, everybody just watches it on their own computer, and then after that, we'll come back and we'll talk about it, okay? So when you're watching it on your own computer, take some notes maybe, write down a couple You have your microphone mute. <laughs> Sorry, I, I uh, paused uh, now. Oh, okay. My experience. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I keep getting muted. Okay, so what I'm suggesting is because YouTube is not working for us, um, it's not. I don't know why it's not. Um, we can let's just do it this way, um, where you guys listen to it on your own, on your computer. And then that way everybody has a good sound and can see the. And then we'll come back in four and a half minutes and we'll talk about it. So when you're listening to it on your own, um, try to hear some words and c come back prepared to tell me what you think um, it's about. What words did you hear? What's going on in the song? That type of stuff. Okay. So uh, watch it again, Hamid, <laughs> so you can. Uh, be fresh because I want I'm going to ask everybody what you heard and what do you think the song is about okay okay okay, okay. I have, I have <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> All right. see you in four and a half minutes <laughs> okay <clears throat>
as back. <coughs> Okay, is everybody done yet? I can. I'm finished. <laughs> okay, good. All yeah, right. Is everybody back? And back as well. Okay. Oh, this is, this song uh, it's uh, famous in this moment because uh, yeah. here in Italy I I listen this uh, music on the Italian radio. Uh huh. Okay, so you've heard it before. <laughs> yes, here in Spain too. <laughs> okay. Good. Yeah, it's actually, um, you, if you guys know the Billboard uh, hits charts, you know, the top mm -hmm. 100 songs or something, it's number one right now. So <laughs> that's yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> that's why I chose it because I thought uh, it might be familiar. At least you've heard it probably even if you haven't paid attention to the words or you don't really know what's uh, going on in the song. M maybe yeah. it's... Uh, Sounds familiar to you, so yeah, it's number one right now on the the Billboard charts, is what we say, the Billboard charts. It's uh, number one. Okay, uh, so let's talk about it. Um, hold on, let me just show you here. I don't know why I was trying to read about why the YouTube app might not be working, but I didn't uh, find out. This is the um, Billboard charts. So these are the the number one songs around the world and stuff. So right now, this is it. Number one is Uptown Funk. Mark Ronson wrote it, but it features Bruno Mars singing it. So that's the deal. Um, before we uh, look at the lyrics, because of course you could just look at the lyrics too. I know that. <laughs> that's uh, fine. What what did some people hear? What kind of things did you hear? Mateo, you said you've heard this song before. What words do you hear when you hear this song? <laughs> oh, the, 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 the song music is a, it's a good, but I can't understand perfectly. <laughs> Can you uh, understand what, uh, any what of he the words? said? For example, he said, uh, Don't believe, uh, and after. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right, so you heard, Don't believe. Susanna, do you hear some words? What words do you hear? <laughs> no, I, I heard the same, Don't believe, but. I uh -huh. don't understand what what else. Okay, all right, Maria. What are some words that you can pick out? Uh, in this, in this, uh, in this uh, part of the song, or in all the in, song. In the whole song, any part, the any song. word that you heard. <laughs> um, I, I have said, you know who I am. Uh huh. Okay. And in I think uh, when he talks about don't believe me, uh -huh. just just watch. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, uh, I, yeah. This um, kid, this, whatever you hear. Yeah. Um, I uh, then uh, have the idea, but I don't remember the sad words of other things. Okay. Okay. No problem. Uh, Hamid, any words that stand out for you when you listen to the song? Of course, uh, hit your hallelujah. 
<laughs> it is, I think, a, a funny part. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah, yeah, right, hallelujah. And uh, Saturday night. Saturday night, okay, good, you heard that. Hey, 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 all. <laughs> yeah. And uh, wait a minute. Okay. And I am too hot. I am too hot, okay. And there is something but a uh, police uh, fireman, but I don't remember the whole sentence. Okay, yeah. And uh, dragon or uh, retires uh, something. Okay, uh huh. Dragon, you heard that? Dragon. Yes, that's all. Okay, great. Uh, Anatoly, what about you? What words can you hear in the song? It is a more challenging <coughs> song than the previous <laughs> which, uh, <laughs> uh, from rap which we uh, listened to. Mm. I uh, heard uh, hot uh -huh. many times, a girl many girl, times, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, uptown, uh -huh. punk, okay. and uh, uh, other meaning I uh, try to understand from the uh, capture and uh, videos. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <clears throat> Good. Okay, well let's break it down and see what, what the heck is he even saying. Um, so one thing is of course to actually hear the words um, and then the other thing is to understand them. What does he mean? So even if you hear some of the words, what is he talking about? <clears throat> Hi Ken. <laughs> I see that you came in. I don't know if you had a chance to uh, listen to the song yet though. Hi. Uh, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, All right. We're going to go through it anyway. Okay. So we're going through this song, and uh, why don't we just go through this first part here? So I'm going to just say it. It's, he says, this hit. So a hit. It means this song. So this is a hit song, okay? He hopes that this song is going to be a hit, right? So that's part of bragging already. We talked about him bragging. Already he's saying, my song is a hit. Right, this hit, and so that's what he, number one. Yeah, like I'm already number one. My song is gonna be number one. So he's he's already so cool, right? And then he says that ice cold, and so ice cold me refers to something that is cooler than cool. So he's he's already talking about his song, this hit, that ice cold, means that is. So remember when you're listening to. Um, music it's not always grammatically correct so that ice cold means that is ice cold so this song is cooler than cool it's it's even better than the best that's what that means that's an expression ice cold oh man this is ice cold it means it's better it's cooler than being cool it's like the best the best all right and then remember sometimes it's just about rhyming you know, too. So he says, Michelle Pfeiffer, that white gold. So if you don't know who Michelle Pfeiffer is, I put this uh, link here. It's just a reference to this actress who is very popular and she's very white, right? So remember, Bruno Mars is black. And so sometimes when you have, uh, you know, black singers, they'll sometimes talk about this idea of the blacks and the whites. So it's a different cultural thing. So he's rep, uh, using her as a representative of somebody who's white gold. White gold. So she represents somebody who's famous, but she's white. Okay. Now this one, meaning this song, this song is for them hood girls. You guys know what he means when he says hood? Oh, sure. Maybe in nice girls. No, not nice girls. Uh, Maria, you haven't. Have you guys heard the expression in the hood before? No. No? Okay, good. So, hood refers to neighborhood. Now, what he's talking about is this song is a hit, and it's in cooler than cool. And yeah, there's Michelle Pfeiffer, but she's white gold. And I'm this song is for the hood girls, meaning the black girls who live in his neighborhood. Okay, so hood girls means not, um, it means they're the, the girls that live in his neighborhood, but it's probably talking about like more of a poor neighborhood. 
you know, not this white gold, not a this uh, place where the white people live that's all nice and fancy, but it's this song is for the hood girls, those girls that, the black girls that I grew up with in my neighborhood. And so he says, them good girls. So, of course, that's not grammatically correct. Correct. We don't say them girls. <laughs> we say those girls. But this is a way of speaking, especially in the African-American community, them good girls. So he's saying that these neighborhood girls that I grew up with, the black girls, they're, they're good. They're straight masterpieces. So straight means like straight up means they're, they're um, perfect masterpieces. So he's talking about the girls there. They're beautiful. Okay. So sometimes, you know, uh, uh, you have the race thing, the black and the white and some, so he's, he's um, giving, he's giving recognition. You guys know that word recognition to the beautiful black girls in his neighborhood. All right. And then he says styling. Okay, styling. So now he's talking about himself. This whole part is about himself. So this part was about his song. So cool. And then he's saying, who's it for? It's for the girls in my hood. They're the good girls. They're masterpieces. They're beautiful. And now he's talking about himself. And he means, I'm styling. So the apostrophe there is to, for the G, styling. So he looks cool. So now he's talking about, I'm cool. And he says, while in, living it up in the city. So living it up means you know, having a good time in the city. And so, and then he explains what he's wearing. He says, got Chucks on with Saint Laurent. So Chucks means uh, Converse shoes. So he's got his cheap kind of uh, Converse tennis shoes on. But he this has is a, This yes. is a brand. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and that's how you ha that's why it's sometimes it's hard to understand because you don't know what he's referencing. So he's referencing his chucks. Those are his tennis shoes. So I got chucks on with Saint Laurent. Now Saint Laurent's a famous uh, French designer. So while he's wearing his cheap Converse tennis shoes, he's also wearing a nice designer uh, jacket, for example. So when you watch the video, he's like he's pretty styling, you know, and he looks good. That's what it means. So yeah. he's got, I got chucks on. That's what he means. I'm wearing my chucks right. with my Saint Laurent uh, jacket. Got kiss myself. I'm so pretty. Got means I have to. I got to kiss myself because I'm so pretty. So this is where he's bragging. I look so good in my stuff. And that's a, a theme in rap music and stuff. It's talking about how good you look, how good your girlfriend looks, how good the women are, that kind of stuff. That's a and so this is what he says. I'm too hot. That's what you heard. Hot damn. Hot damn just means like woo like when you say that. Hot damn. Wow, I'm so awesome. You know, I'm so hot. And he says, call the police and a fireman. Um, I think it's call. Call the police and a fireman. So that's what you heard, Hamid. So he's saying, I'm so hot, I'm so cool, I'm so styling. You're going to have to call the police or a fireman. <laughs> and he says it again, I'm too hot, hot damn. Um, make a dragon want to retire, man. So make a dragon want to, so that's uh, what we say when we really want to say want to. So he's so hot, he's going to make the dragon want to Retire. So dragons are known for fire, breathing fire. And so he's hotter than the dragon. He's better than the dragon. It's going to make the dragon want to retire. Retire is when you stop working. You, you're you done working. Um, and he keeps saying that. So he, here it is just all about bragging about how hot he is, how awesome he is. Say my name. You know who I am. I'm too hot. Am I bad about that money. And so here he's just saying again, you know, say my name, who am I, you know, he's Bruno Mars, you know who I am, uh, you know, I'm famous, you know me, I'm so hot, am ba I bad about that money. And so he's just, he's kind of like all about that money, you know, like so he's got money, he's got fame, he's got style, he's bragging about all of this. And he says, break it down. So whenever you say break it down in a song, that's when you go to the chorus. So when you go to the, you say break it down. That's 
really popular for like uh, funk music and R&B music. Uh, sorry, James Brown says that. Let's break it down, and then they go into the chorus, and that's when they're singing this. Girls, hit your hallelujah. So hallelujah. Do you guys know what that means? When do people say hallelujah? In the church, hallelujah. In the church, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so he's saying, and you say hallelujah when you're like praising God is the idea. When you say hallelujah, like amen, thank you, Lord. They say that. And that happens a lot in the, the black uh, Baptist Christian churches. They Some of the, you guys might know about like the choirs, the black choirs. They sing and they hallelujah. You know, it's a lot of singing and very, very lively. So he's saying that girls hit your hallelujah it means sing. You know, sing hallelujah, which is what they do in the choir in the church. And he's saying sing hallelujah because like I'm so hot, right? <laughs> I'm so but, but in this case, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, he said uh, girls uh, yell hallelujah. Yes, exactly. Ah, okay. Yeah, hallelujah. Hit your. Uh, when you sing a song, uh, you can hit your, like, hit the high notes, hit the low notes, that kind of thing. It means sing them. So he's saying, yeah, sing or yell your hallelujah. Woo! And so, you know, it's just really kind of lively, fun. And he's telling everybody, girls, you know, because he's singing this song for the girls, right? That's his thing. Um, and so he's telling the girls to sing out hallelujah. He says, cause, and that's short for because, uptown funk, that's what he's playing. You know, he's he's the uptown funk. He's playing music in, you know, an uptown area, and I'm, I've got this good, stylish funk. And he says, gonna give it to you. So gonna give it to you means going to give it to you. But when you're singing or you're talking really quickly, you kind of chew your words. You don't say the whole thing. You don't say, going to give it to you. You say, gonna give it to you, you know. And so it's a way of uh, singing. But that's what it means. So he says, uh, you know, girls, yell hallelujah because Uptown Funk is going to give it to you, which means we're going to play the music for you. We're going to get you dancing. We're going to give it to you. You know, it's like, come on, get up. We're going to dance. Saturday night and we in the spot and here we in we don't talk like that in you know normally but we say we are in so the verbs missing there but in the song you can say it saturday night and we in the spot that's what he's saying we are in the spot the spot is the place where you dance the where the music's playing the bar the disco the the place where you go to have fun and dance and don't believe me just Watch. So you don't have to believe me. Just watch. And that's you know they're dancing, they're singing. You can watch him because he's going to give it to you. He's going to sing to you, dance with you, and just make it uh, fun for you. And that's what they they say it a lot of times, over and over. So it's very uh, repetitive. Don't believe me. Just watch. Is how. And then stop. He says, wait a minute. And then this is the part of the video where they're walking, and he says, fill my cup. Put some liquor in it. So you saw them doing that. So fill my cup. Put the put the liquor in it. This is like you know the party. We're having a party. Take a sip. A sip is a little drink where you take a little drink. Um, sign a check. That means money. So here he is talking about his lifestyle now. I'm so hot. You know, look at me. I'm so cool. I drink liquor. I take a little sip. Then I sign a check, which means I pay for something. Julio, that's his driver. Get the stretch. The stretch is the limousine, the limo. So he's telling his driver, Julio, go get the stretch. You know, go get my limo. Ride, and then he talks to all the about the places. Harlem, that's in New York, where the Af a lot of African American people live. Hollywood, Jackson, Mississippi, all these places. If we show up, so if we go to these places, we are going to show out. It means we're going to give a party. We're going to, you know, we're everybody's going to notice us. Everybody's going to recognize us. Smoother than a fresh jar of Skippy. Does anybody have an idea what Skippy is? <laughs> Smoother. So he's here he is bragging again about how cool he is, how cool his band is, 
and he says we're smoother than a fresh a jar of Skippy. So you, this is an American thing. You would have to know what Skippy is. It's peanut butter. <laughs> so it's a smooth, creamy peanut butter. <laughs> so that's what he's referring to. We're so smooth, just like when you open a fresh jar of Skippy peanut butter. So that's a analogy there, comparison. All right, I'm too hot. This is the chorus again, talking again. I'm so hot. You got to call the police or the firemen. The dragon's going to retire. Bitch, you know, that's talking about the girls. Say my name. You know who I am. I'm too hot. Okay, so all of that, again, get girls, hit your hallelujah, because Uptown Funk going to give it to you. All right, so basically he's just saying the whole thing again. With the chor That's the chorus. We in the spot. And then the last part here, uh, where they're really, you know, turning it on and getting down. He says, before we leave, so before we go, I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to tell y'all a little something. So that's a, a way that African Americans speak. But it means, I'm going to tell you all. So I'm going to tell you all a little something. That's the translation there. But I'm going to tell y'all. A little something. Uptown funk you up. So, uptown funk you up. So that's what he's saying. I said uptown. So basically, we're going to make you dance. Now, this is kind of a funny play on words because, of course, you could have the word, uh, the F word. So you would have that, fuck you up. And that means to mess you up, you know, to beat you up or something like that. But funk you up means to help you get out and dance. So we're going to give you a good time. We're going to funk you up it means we're going to help you get out and have a party and feel good. And so he invites everybody, come on, dance, jump on it, which means get on the dance floor. Jump on to the dance floor. If you sexy, that means if you are sexy, uh, then flaunt it. Should be then. Then flaunt it. To flaunt it means to show off. You know, if you're a sexy man or a sexy girl, get up there and start dancing and show us how good you are. If you freaky, so again, if you are freaky, freaky meet here means if you're a good dancer. So if you're, you're a good dancer, you're a freaky dancer, then own it. You know, own it means show people. You know, take take a power, empower yourself. Don't, don't hide. You know, you don't have to brag about it. You don't have to tell me how good you are. Come show me. So he's, he's inviting people to come up to the dance floor. Don't just sit there and talk about how good you are. Come and show me. Show us how good you are. Come on and dance. All of that. And I think that's it. So basically, it's just a, kind of a fun celebration song. It's, you know, it's sexy, people getting up, dancing, they're hot, that type of thing. <laughs> okay. Any questions about it? Do you understand it better now? Does it make sense? Yes. yes. <laughs> and, uh, could, could you describe, uh, maybe repeat about uh, uh, he compared Michelle Pfeiffer with a uh, mm -hmm. uh, girl, local girl? Uh, yes. Could you uh, describe why and uh, what does it mean, why he compared? Yeah, you know, I'm I'm not really sure why he chose Michelle Pfeiffer because um, I, I found this. Um, where did it go? Oh, here, I found this uh, website that I wanted to share with you guys because it's pretty cool. Um, this is a website that I just found this morning, actually, when I was looking around on the internet and. Maybe you've seen this before, uh, Anatoly. You might really like this because I know you like uh, music and the lyrics. But what it is is people put up songs and then they put up the um, they put up the lyrics and then they can log on and um, explain. They can annotate. So uh, this hit that Ice Cold, they're explaining that it's a you know this hit single. So it's, over here is an explanation, and then Michelle Pfeiffer. This is Michelle Pfeiffer, and what we know is she is an American actress, and she's popular, and um, she has white skin and golden hair, hence white uh, gold. In other words, this song is a hit. So I don't know exactly. That doesn't really explain it e exactly, but um, 
maybe you know when you're a, when you're a musician and you're a songwriter, some things are uh, come to you more than it, they're kind of personal, is what I want to say. So maybe for him, this girl Michelle Pfeiffer, she represents the white gold, the girls uh, that are you know white and that have golden hair, but that's not necessarily who the song is for. So it's kind of like contrasting okay. that. This song is for the hood okay. girls. Yeah. Is there, so, I have an idea for that part. Okay, come in. It yeah. can be connection uh, previous line. I'm in ice cold. Well, uh, yeah, it, it, it rhymes. White, ice cold, the white girls. Because go ice, white ice gold. Is, color is white uh, and uh, for harmonic situation, mm -hmm. I'm in cold and gold. Yes, so, sure. Rhyming words here, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. I yeah, I mean, if I uh, if I am thinking my poetic way, I can say this. Exactly. Yeah, and same here. He's talking about uh, it's for the the hood girls, you know, them good girls. So it's uh, like I said. I think the main thing is that Michelle White uh, Pfeiffer is kind of just a person who represents the uh, white girls, you know, and she's. She's beautiful, she's got her gold hair, she's got her white skin, but that's not who this song is for. This song is for the hood girl, so that would be mm. the yes, black girl, yes, yes. you know? The, and mm. he's saying them mm. good girls. They're the ones that are masterpieces. So this is a really important word here, masterpieces, talking about their beauty, you know? So, and then he goes into himself, talking about himself. Uh, and that was interesting, yeah? Uh, gold uh, can uh, refer maybe uh, her hair, yes, and the right. white can refer uh, mm -hmm. her skin. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking like this. Yeah. And here's the one where the chucks. Uh, so, for example, the chucks are his Converse shoes, which are cheap, but Saint Laurent uh, apparel, for example, is very expensive. So a jacket like this could cost upwards of, you know, or more than. Six thousand dollars. So it doesn't really matter what he's wearing. He's so pretty. I gotta kiss myself, you know. And uh, that's what James Brown also did a lot. Uh, you know, oh, I'm so hot. I gotta kiss myself. You know, that's a signature thing that James Brown used to do uh, when he was performing. So that's what you see a lot of like J uh, Bruno Mar uh, Mars doing that same kind of thing. Okay. Okay, anybody else have any questions or something that you didn't understand? <coughs> Do you see that this is, um, the one of the things about uh, trying to understand lyrics is it's very cultural. So a lot of times you've got to kind of understand the culture that's behind the song, who's singing it, what the group is, uh, what the history is of this particular person. So this is, you know, he... Bruno Mars is a young African American uh, singer, songwriter, musician, and so he comes with all of this culture. You know, it's different than, say, like you know, Pink Floyd or something like that. <laughs> White guys. No, for me, you know, <laughs> yeah. For me, this uh, this um, song uh, describe uh, uh, a little uh, behavior behavior of uh, teenagers. Uh huh. Yeah. Sure. It's young. It's a very young song. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. And but but uh, but um, I I can understand uh, um, uh, why in this uh, song mm -hmm. uh, there's a associated uh, Michelle Pfeiffer <laughs> in this context. <laughs> we don't really know that. We would have to ask. You know, the person who actually wrote. The song is not Mars Bruno himself. So because Mars, it's, uh, maybe yeah. maybe it's a, a model girl yes. women yeah. yeah for the for the teenagers. Um, I don't know. Okay. I, yeah, maybe maybe the teenagers. She you know she also played in Greece too. Like you you know maybe knowing some of her famous. Uh, uh, movies helps because she is pretty pot. You know, she has been popular. I don't know if she's super popular because, now. Because uh, I I understand here, for example, when uh, when say the straight masterpiece. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, no, I I I understand in this case uh, 
um, stride, uh, mm. mean uh, stride road, okay, stride mm. way, uh -huh. master way, Michelle Pfeiffer for teenager, it's a stride way, mm. mm -hmm. follow. Masterpiece? Yeah. yeah, perhaps. I think a lot of people are trying to uh, figure out why. <laughs> sure, her name. <laughs> Why um. her name is uh, in that? Uh, yeah, I, I, like this. Uh, this article right here. I just looked it up. You know, sometimes we don't actually know why singers and songwriters do what they do, and so uh, even this article. What was that? Um, is asking, you know, why is Michelle Pfeiffer in this song? You know, this is here. This is who she is right here. Uh, so she's not a teenager herself. She's 56 years old, and you know, so it says here, Ronson and Mars, who co-wrote the single that's number three on iTunes, seem yeah. to be describing feisty Elvira Hancock from Scarface in their tune. Uh, by white gold, could they mean cocaine? Huh? would make mm. sense considering Hancock's a drug addict. So people are just guessing. They're kind of trying to guess, like, why why are they uh, talking about her? But I would say more that she represents, like, you know, the white girls, and the song is really more for uh, the black girls, for the girls in the hood. You know, that's probably the, probably that's their reason why. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Does that make more sense? It, you know, sometimes you don't always know, and sometimes you have to go looking. Even if you understand the words, you're not always sure, like, well, why did he put that person in there, you know? But in terms of understanding the song, I think now you guys have a better idea, and you also have a better idea of the cultural thing. So when you are listening to uh, music like rap or uh, hip-hop, a lot of the themes are the same. Uh, dancing... Uh, you know, moving it, shaking it, you know, doing all of this stuff together, friends, uh, your lifestyle, being cool, being stylish, you know, styling, that's another thing. All that kind of stuff is in these types of songs. So yes, I would agree with Mateo. It's, it's, it appeals to, you could say, it appeals to uh, young people around the world, I think. Even if you don't understand the words, the, 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 the beat is very catchy. We say that the beat is catchy. It makes you feel like you want to move, like you want to dance. And the video is kind of fun, you know, good dancing and that type of thing. Maria, what do you think about the song now that you understand the words a little more? <laughs> yeah. Maria, is this a kind of song that you like to listen to or not? I sorry, I was watching the. <laughs> sorry, oh. I I can you repeat again, please? Yes. Is this a type of song that you like to listen to? This yes, I like music? this. I yeah. like this kind of music. I think it's very happy and yes. Uh huh. Or, it's it's funny. I uh, I don't understand the the letter from uh, from now, but. <laughs> 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 I I don't understand a lot of Spanish songs too because yeah. they, <laughs> they they talk about the strange things so this is <laughs> this is <Yeah>. normal <laughs> right exactly yeah and really uh, a lot of times songs are just for fun and you can sing along and yeah even if you if I speak English I still have to I might want to understand the song better I would look up the lyrics try to understand what he's saying. I wouldn't necessarily know what he's saying just by hearing it over and over. So, uh, Susana, what about you? Uh, have you heard this song before, Susana? No. Okay. I haven't heard that song. Yeah. Do you like yeah. this kind of music? Uh, no, not my kind of music. I prefer uh, the rock. Rock music, okay. Or, uh, underground music. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes. Sure. And I think that uh, this kind of song is very popular for me. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. Okay. When you listen to music in English, do you ever look up the lyrics to try to understand them? Yes, I tried it, but um, al almost I don't listen to English music. Okay, just uh, Spanish? Yes. Uh-huh, 
Okay. Uh-huh. Anatoly, what about you? Is this a style of music that you like? Mm, no, but I like uh, to discover new and new styles, and uh, mm. I uh, like uh, this song uh, mm -hmm. for this reason. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> Matteo, you said you heard the song uh, in Italy. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, but usually um, in a day I, I listen sometimes a little bit uh, radio, okay? Uh -huh. And this, uh, this kind of um, music, song, uh, I remember yeah. uh, now in this time often I, yeah. I listen this um, this song. Okay. And probably uh, <laughs> will be for another uh, two, three months, and after change. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. I don't like this. Uh, I prefer uh, the whole music. Uh, uh, for example, uh, if you know uh, Black Sabbath. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, sure. Deep Purple. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Older. This uh, music. Uh, not yeah. die, never. <laughs> never dies. Yeah, classic. Never die. <laughs> a classic rock. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna play this next one. We're not gonna have time, but uh, I'm just gonna share it with you guys. If you want to know, it's another really popular song. You may or may not like uh, Taylor Swift, but she's a popular American, young American uh, singer, and this is a very popular song here. Maybe you guys have heard it before. It's called "Shake It Off." And uh, the lyrics are on the same page here, so uh, you might. It, it has some uh, more words. It's kind of similar, though. You know, like the this one was about uh, Bruno Mars. You know, being a hit, being a hit uh, song maker, uh, a famous person, a person who gets everybody up on the dance floor and sing. That's kind of talking about him. But this one, she's talking about uh, herself. So I stay up too late, got nothing in my brain. That's what people say. So uh, she's kind of talking about herself and what people say about her. And people say, I go on too many dates. I go out with all these guys, but they don't stay. So she's basically saying, all these people say a lot of things about me, but I'm just going to shake it off. So if you hear this, hear this uh, song, the main thing is I want you to know that shake it off means I'm not going to let it bother me. I'm just going to, you know, players are going to play, you know, guys who want to come around and just date me, they're going to do that. Haters, people who don't like me, people who say I'm a bad this or that, they're going to hate. But I'm just going to shake. Shake means I'm just going to dance. I'm going to let it go. I'm not going to let all these people bother me. So... That's what it means. So if you hear this song, and if you listen to the radio, you probably will. <laughs> Shake it off. So mm -hmm. there you go. It's, she says all these things very quickly. She sings pretty fast. But uh, it's kind of a fun beat, and she the chorus repeats over and over and over again. So she, you probably will be able to uh, hear it better. And they rhyme. Break, fake, shake. Those are rhyming words. Okay. All right, guys. Well, we used up all our time. Oh my gosh, passed, and I have to go to my next class. <laughs> so, okay, teacher. Thanks. All right, Thank have fun, Thank guys. You and use that site if you like to listen, look up the lyrics. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Uh, bye.